So I'm getting this urge to keep a kind of diary, a captain's log of my experiences while I try to acclimatize myself to virtual reality. What I'm doing is each and every day spending 15 or 20 minutes just playing Elite Dangerous in an effort to get used to the sensation of virtual reality without becoming nauseous. And I'm not actually having any problems playing that much Elite Dangerous. It, it doesn't seem to affect me the way Valkyrie did, E Valkyrie. Yesterday, I spent quite a lot of time playing around with the galaxy map. Now this, this is a little bit um, difficult in virtual, virtual reality. Those of you who've played Elite Dangerous are so used to using mouse and keyboard, I guess, for galaxy map, it's so easy. But it's a little harder in, in the virtual reality. The, the controls are not as instinctive and it takes a little time to get used to them. I sort of have got used to them by now, the zooming and the tracking. But there you go, I've highlighted that planet. It's a little harder, but you do get used to it. The thing is, you are probably, you're thinking to yourself, well, it's a bit zoomed in, isn't it? And, and that is true. And you're thinking, how do you use it? But it, it looks very different to me uh, than it looks to you in 2D. I don't feel like I'm looking at a galaxy map. I very much feel like I'm inside the galaxy map. It is exceptionally strange and extremely nauseating. I got a massive sensation of speed visually there because I zoomed right out of the galaxy. But obviously I'm not feeling it in my body and that's what causes nausea. So believe it or not, the galaxy map seems to be the worst thing. Right now, oh god, that, that actually affects me. So I have to try and do it slowly. It is, however, very, very cool to basically be inside the galaxy map. It, 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 it's incredible, actually. <laughs> um, so, Seagull Nebula. So that's what I was doing yesterday, but today what I decided to do was to try out some new ships. I've tried out the Adder, obviously that's the training ship, and I've tried my Cobra. But I thought to myself, you know, I've not tried virtual reality in all the other ships, so I switched to the Adder, as you can see here. I've not tried this ship before at all, but it's so weird. I'm going to look around now. Now, the microphone is off to my right, and I'm going to turn left, so I might sound a bit faint. As you can see, I'm in a two-man ship. There are two seats. And it's enormous. This is such a large ship compared to the ones I've been using. You don't have as much window space above you, though, so I don't think you can see up in the middle of combat. Although, I've got to tell you, this does look comfortable. I'm not sure what that is, but for the life of me, it looks like a coffee cup that is like, you know, one of those thermal coffee cups. And we've got, apparently, a good music system going on because there's some speakers. I'm going to look behind. I'm trying not to smack the microphone, but as you can see, it is, it is a lot bigger. I'm going to look all the way behind now. I have got a very cool door. So this is such a weird experience because this feels totally different to the last one. I'm trying to find my microphone with my hands now so I don't smash my face in as I move back into position. Um, now I'm back in position. I'm going to recenter the view just to make sure I didn't move. See, I moved slightly. Okay. So this is my new ship. <laughs> it, it's a crap one. It's one of the cheap ones. And I'm just going... Well, I'm, I'm going to take it out for a ride. I want to see what they're all like. So this is what I'm doing each day at the moment, just to try and get used to the feeling of virtual reality. Because it is weird. Because it, it, it confuses your senses quite a lot. Ship detach complete. Access corridor is clear. Landing gear retracted. Because you can see the movement, but you can't feel it. Now... I can't see right above me, so I've no idea if I'm about to smash into something. 
So I probably should actually fly more like that, shouldn't I? Okay. This... I don't know what sort of ship this is. I think it's kind of a hybrid. Like, you, you get a bit of everything. Oh, this is still very cool. The other thing is, is... One of the things that really I have started to notice in virtual reality quite a lot, actually, is the fact that the lighting in the cockpit changes quite dramatically. I'll, I will show you. Let's, uh, let's turn around. I'm going to do it as smoothly and slowly as I can, at the same time as uh, I'm going to... Oh, look at that, look at that. I'm, I'm going to request docking. Right. Request approved. Proceed to landing pad one, two. Scan detected. Being scanned. Right. One of the cool things with the VR is it, it makes it a little easier to target people. See, I can just target ships by looking at them and pressing the target dead ahead button, which is nice. Right, so. What was that? What was I going to do? What was I gonna... Oh, lighting! Look how dark it is in the place. Look at... Now, watch as I start getting towards the ship. I wonder what this one's like. The other ships, the, the, the effect is actually kind of very distracting. This is what you start doing when you're playing virtual reality, by the way. You don't pay any attention to the actual game, and instead... Let's have a look at the lights. Is it going to change the sh shadows? Don't crash, don't crash. Look, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, doing a terrible job. I'm going for 12. We're landing here. I'm not doing a good job of shot. Oh, do you see the lighting has changed? But it's amazing. If you go past certain things, you'll see shadows moving on the on the cockpit, the top of the cockpit. I'm not giving you a good example of that. I don't think this ship's actually quite as good for that sort of thing. But, but it's really cool. And it is little things like that that give you that real sense of actually being in a proper spaceship. There you go. You see it? You see the lighting? Okay, you know what? Focus on not crashing. It's actually not a very good... Uh... I'll try a different ship. I will try a different ship. Landing complete. So this is the Eagle. And as you can see, it is a lot smaller. This is a one-man ship. And you can pretty much reach out and touch the windows. But the windows will basically go around the entire seat. As a, as a pilot, you can see pretty much... Well, you can even see behind you. Give me a second. You've got exceptionally good visibility. Now, trying to find my uh, place again and not smash my face into the microphone. There we go. Right, I'm going to recenter it. Okay, so, yeah, I do like this. No, no coffee cup, though, you notice. No, no coffee cup. So, um, let's take this for a spin. Now, the Eagle is my favorite ship. It is very, very agile, and it is, well, fast. Fast and agile. So, I'm going to need... To adjust. I've been, I've been playing the Cobra for too long. Let's see if I can. Ooh, wait. Yeah, that. Whoa! <laughs> As I've mentioned, that feeling of speed. Now look, look at the lighting. Look at the lighting. I think. Look. Now there you go. There you go. Look at the shadows. As I rotate the light. I know that's the daftest thing to be thinking about. And you see shadows in every single game. But in a game like this, you, you just don't usually focus on, on things like that. You just don't. It's not really top priority for you. Um, let's see if I can... That's the station, isn't it? It's not top priority for you. But when you're in VR... For some odd reason, that really makes such a huge difference. Those little details. Okay. Unable to grab Decrease range to oh, I'm too far away. I'm too far away.
Docking request. Thank you. Forty-two. Can I remember where the hell forty-two is? But that's it. I mean, it is. It's the strangest thing to be focusing on such mundane details. But that's probably what I'm going to be doing for an awful long time with an awful lot of VR games. Just where's forty-two? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, okay, we we shot past it. We shot past it. Oh, I've uh, I've gone into someone else's airspace. Yes, I have. Probably need my landing gear down. Oh. Landing gear deployed. Okay. Get some speed down. Oh. And as silly as it may seem, just something as simple as. Playing around in this ship is so much fun. And it's purely and simply because it is VR. So that's what I'm going to be doing basically for the next um, week or so. Just doing a few minutes here and there of Elite Dangerous and getting accustomed to the sensations of flying around in VR and see if it gets easier. And if it does, I will report back to you. And if it doesn't, I will also report back to you. Basically, we're going to have the um, vomit report. <laughs> Captain's log. Today felt slightly nauseous. Improvement over yesterday. Not exactly the uh, most impressive uh, space diary of all time. But there you go.